was when I first did the, you know what? <laughs> We're slowly getting back. There's about 15 or 16 strands that just does not, but everything else is back currently. So if those 15 can hurry up and revert back, great. <laughs> Because it's been almost two months. So that would be the fastest, I guess. I'm not cutting my hair. I'm going to keep trying my bond builders. Keep using my proteins, my deep treatments. Keep the health of my hair. This is just rose water. And this is some more rose water just in case if this runs out. Rose water is to hydrate my hair. My hair really loves rose water. So I got to give my hair what it loves. Good afternoon, evening, morning, whatever time frame you are in, my friend, my fams. This is the not always fun part. Water is water, but my hair really loves the benefits of rose water. It finds it just a tad bit more hydrating, so I've been doing just... Taking rose petals, brewing it, letting it seep for years. At least three, maybe four, but I, I'm certain at least three and a half years doing this. So it's nothing new. <laughs> and it's very easy to do. This is one of the few, many new products y'all will see me demoing. Well, I got to. The other spray bottle I had that was bigger, ooh, this is cold, than this, it got damaged, so, or it stopped working, so I had to throw that out. It's unfortunate I had to get rid of it because it was purple and I loved it too, but at least I had this one, which was like my backup, which is sprayed a little bit better than this one. This one is more like, damn. Let me get my, ooh. Yeah, y'all see, all it is getting on me. I'm getting soaked, <laughs> so. But I do these videos for y'all, my fans, and then even people that's not subscribed to me, at least they can see more options of like the bond builders and how it works on natural hair or how we work in general because I probably have some people that may not even be natural and that's okay at least they have the options because I've always tried to use good products even when I was relaxed I have not been relaxed since 2018 so November of this year will be six years um my hair is very very tight coily so it may look like, oh, damn, it's not growing. It may look like it's the same length. No, it's growing. It's just my curls curl into each other. And the shrinkage, baby, the shrinkage be real. <laughs> so that's a little backstory on that. Yes, I'm going to be demoing a new product, a new bond builder. So y'all can see how it works. I'm going to go over and discuss the ooh, directions. My hair is at least a 4B. Um, right now, it may not look like it because, of course, some of the product, some of it got heat damaged. So I'm just trying to help it get back to its fullest potential. And when it does, you'll see the 4B potential. So some of it might have gotten loose like a 3C, 4A, but it's mostly supposed to be like 4B. So we're going to help get it back to the elasticity and the health that it's supposed to be. As y'all can see, This water is just repelling, so I'm low porosity, y'all. Okay. Very low porosity. Okay, damn, I almost finished the water that is in there, so I'm going to take that out. Rose water kind of looks like that. It changes the color, just in case it's like a light 
light, light, light yellow, light pink ish. Ooh. So. Okay. That's enough of that. I replenished that. I'm gonna have to buy some more roses <laughs> or rose petals so I can make my rose water. Now that I'm good and damn soaked, drip, 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 <laughs> soaked down to the bone, as y'all can see. Okay, let's try to help this. Okay, now to the fun part. Hello. <laughs> Um, damn it. Ooh, I'm good and damn soaked. This is the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate. It's an intensive treatment. It says intense fortifying, uh, intense conditioning, fortifying, optimized for color treated hair. However, I have heat damage. <laughs> so that's why I'm using this. It's a bonding treatment. It says apply to damp hair, leave on for five to ten minutes. Then you're supposed to apply the shampoo, rinse, lather, and follow up with the conditioner and all of that. I only have this, but it does tell you it's suitable for all hair types. Sunburn alert. This contains an alpha hydroxy acid AHA, which will increase your skin's sensitivity to the sun and the possibility of sunburn. So... Wear protective clothing and limit sun exposure while using this product and for a week afterwards. Okay, so let's get into some of these ingredients. It has water, um, Certerra alcohol, glycerin, bentramonium chloride, sera alcohol, citric acid, scissors, um, isopropyl alcohol is in this, the polyquat 10, polysorby 20, um, Hydropro gar limonium linolo um then whatever patent ingredients they got in there because it doesn't necessarily say so let's hope this works this is what it look like now we're gonna get into what it smells like um you can tell there's chemical in there but it's got like a cool it's got like a little hint of like a floral note it's white this is just so y'all can see that. This feels good going on a hair. I mean, it's best when you're gonna do these types of treatments to really soak and coat the hair, which is what I'm striving to do. Cause y'all know my hair does be having the tangles, it knots up, it mats up. My hair be doing the most sometimes, so I gotta give it a little extra TLC. Some of y'all might have some hair like me, some of y'all may not. It just depends, I mean, to each its own. My hair is not gonna like every product that is ever made, but when it does like products, I have to give it what it loves. So far, I've noticed that there are two bond builders that my hair just was like, no, thank you, Two. Everything else has either been really good or it did the job <laughs> that I felt like it was supposed to do. So there's only been two so far where I was just like, um, no. They all feel really good going on. It's when you rinse it out, how it's going to feel. The key to really working it in is to make sure your hair is not only thoroughly coated, but thoroughly detangled as well. Because if I had to sit here and take out the matrix, which I did before on camera, it's going to be a long, 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 long video that we don't have time for. But you live and you learn. So once you learn your hair, how much it uses of a product, how much it needs, that'll be the deciding factor. Sometimes my hair might want more of a product, sometimes it needs just less. So that's why sometimes I might use a product within two uses, sometimes I might use it in a use, sometimes I might need it 
to be used within three or four uses. It just depends. I always give it what it needs when it needs it. And my hair definitely needs this. Like it's no shade. It definitely it needs all of this. So it is time. Plus, I'm gonna be going out of town within like uh, like a week and a half. So I'm definitely doing this now because while I'm going, it's going to be very hot and I'm going to have my hair protected in a wig or in cute little protective styles where my scalp, even if I got to have some hats, it's not going to be exposed to the sun because who wants to be sunburned on their scalp? That's not cute. And at least it's cooler now than it was. That's why I used the other one first because it was hot. When I say hot, it was hot here. Hot for no damn reason just hot as hell here now since we've been getting the rain and it's cooled down and it's going to be raining this week and next week it's safer for me to use it without risking burning my scalp and everything like that it's been very cloudy here and it'll probably be cloudy for like the next few days for at least a week so that'll at least limit the risk of me catching any type of sunburn or ir scalp irritation which Makes complete sense as to why I'm doing it like this. So. It feels like that's at least that half of my head. Um, I'm not good at the whole 360 thing, but I can tell when my hair is fully coated with a product. If I had to guess, maybe they're made by the same company, but I don't know if y'all can go back and look. The only thing with this, it has pH balancing and the smell is different, but this texture reminds me of that L'Oreal, no, that Revlon one that I used last year. Similar textures. But the smell is different. The ingredients is different. If maybe Redken and Lor and um isn't maybe Redken and Revlon are made by the same people, perhaps, or their sister companies. But I did like that one as well. That if you cannot afford this, because I think this retails between twenty eight to twenty nine dollars, but you get about five and a half ounces or so of this, then you can get the Revlon one. It looks just like this, but it's not. It's in a light brown beige bottle. And it's about $15 or so. It, it look, It's the same size as this. This is 5.1 ounces, but it's in a um, light beige, light brown bottle. And trust me, that was a great one. So I'm expecting to really like this. This is the first time I've seen a pH balancing bond treatment so far. That's different. That's unique to Redken. And I've heard really good things about Redken. And I want to try some more of their products. Like some of their deep conditioners, their shampoos. Because I think back in the day, a hairstylist of mine used to, a long time ago, when I was like in what, junior high and high school, use some Redken products in my hair, if I'm correct. I know it was a while ago. I was at least 15 or 16 when I got my hair done in, um, in Texas by a professional. And I know it was the blue Redken. It was supposed to be for moisture or something. And my hair felt silky like butter. This feels good in my hair. When I say good, this feels really damn good in my hair. It's getting, I feel like it's getting the job done, y'all. Like, I really, 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 really like this. Only time will tell, but look at how good this is looking like. I'm really working this in, trying to get out any and every thing this is spreadable easy i want to say the key to this is making sure your hair is really saturated because it's getting out the little tangles the little uh-uhs that ain't supposed to be there and that's what my hair needs 
It needs to get all of that out because who wants to have all of this just thrown all around the shower? Not me. <laughs> so I would say good job to myself <laughs> for making sure I really saturated the hair because that's the key and it helps the product spread. I just want to double check and make sure I have my whole head coated because sometimes my hair can be so thick it'll fool me and trick me and I think I got every piece every nook cranny covered and then I don't miss the spot and I'm mad as hell so if you like me and you're like damn it I know the hell you didn't just <laughs> disappear and yeah so that's why I'm going through each piece like this, spreading what needs to be spread, saturating what needs to be saturated and what was not saturated. I'm definitely going to come back once I rinse this out, tell y'all my thoughts about this, but guys, so far, I am impressed. This is like, wow, you know? A product always look good while it's in the hair, but let's see how it look when you, let's see how it feels when I rinse this out. I mean, it's trying to do something, so at least it's trying to curl up or something. I don't feel it as straight as it was before this product on some of the pieces, so that's a plus. We're going to see, but I like this a lot. This is another luxury one there are some more that's even more expensive than this because the living proof one is close to 45 dollars that might be one of the most expensive ones the living proof k18 and e-press i think those are the top three expensive ones but at least k18 comes in multiple sizes and that's a leave it you don't have to do this you just leave it in over time e-press i think I don't know if that comes in a vial with an injection. I don't want to have to inject nothing and then or because it does come with a vial. So that looks like you have to inject it possibly if it comes in a spray bottle. If it comes with a sprayer, that's fine. But a vial, that's got me like, I don't know about that one. I don't want to have to inject nothing. So <laughs> I don't want to tell y'all no lies. And then, of course, K18, that's like a leave-in that you're supposed to leave in. They have multiple sizes. <laughs> And they have peptides. That's one I definitely want to try too. So I would definitely say the Living Proof and K18 are two more that will be on my radar that I will be trying out in the future. It won't be now though. <laughs> and there's some other ones that I definitely want to try too because I've been seeing. I think on the market there's at least over 20 bond builders. And... I'm not going to get to try all 20-something, but at least if I could try at least 18 to 20, then at least I've given you options because I'm going to compare. If I can try them all, great, <laughs> but I don't think the way my coins is, I have to try them a little at a time. And so that's pretty much what I've been doing, just trying them at a, a little at a time, giving y'all my opinions, my thoughts, and of course, I will always, I only want the best of the best. And then if I can't find the best because the best costs too much, then I want the next best. But anything I hate, you're never going to see that in my stash. <laughs> Again, period. It's just like, nope, I don't care. It was that horrible. It didn't work. Different products work well for different people and different folks. Different strokes for different folks. So, all right, I will come back later and give you all my thoughts on how it rinsed out and how my hair looks. Whoop de whoop. <laughs> That's all I can say for now. Damn, I gotta wash my hands. All right, bye. What's up, friends? Hello. Okay, so y'all wanted my honest opinion. This is just no my honest shirt is kind of dirty, so it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna wash my face soon just not kind of waking up but kind of getting to a stopping point because i'm working today so i didn't even have time to do much of nothing but just roll out of bed and go straight to 
working and making these videos, so. This is aloe vera. Okay, so. Mm, let me take this off. As you still see, ooh, net from upstairs, we had some nasty neighbors that moved out, so. We gonna have to get pest control because whatever they had upstairs is trying to trickle down to my apartment and I'd be damned. So there are some pieces that has curled back and then there's like maybe three or so because the rest of my hair is curled. It's just three pieces. It just is like I refuse. One two three okay so four pieces it's no longer 17 pieces that refuse the other 13 pieces curled back it's just these last three pieces so it's slowly coming back to how it's supposed to look which this is about the worst one this is gonna take some time this will probably be back closer to october <laughs> yeah this I can only do so much with that. But at least everything else, including these other pieces, they're trying to go back. This is just taking its time. I'm going to let it just do its own little thing, and hopefully it'll be back by October. So, what's up? Oh, yes, I know what I was supposed to talk about, y'all. <laughs> this. I love how it made my hair feel. And then I saw it curling back up. It had it rinsed out smooth. So if you have not tried this, this will be one that's worth trying. And it's worth the coin. So, so far, there have been some really good ones that I have tried that have been luxury. Then there have been some really good affordable ones as well and some in-betweens. There's only been two misses. One that was expensive and one that was more affordable. Because by all means, I'm not going to say none of these are cheap. You got to spend a coin for it. It's not like, I mean, when you spend your money for something, that's not cheap. <laughs> Even if it is affordable, it's still not cheap because you had to spend money on it. It's not like you got it in PR or for free from somebody and they gifted it to you. So, this is the Redken, of course, Acidic Bonding, which I think I told y'all it has like a floral with fresh smell. And how much did I use out of the bottle? I'm about right here, so I think I'm going to get at least another two uses out of this, and that will be a first, because this is a thick product, but if you use the right amount of water, this spreads. So the fact that I could get three, two more uses out of this 5.1 fluid ounce, and it's a thick product, but very, it spreads very well. I would say this makes sense to be like $28, $29. So at least it's not like $14 a use. It's a little less than that. So that does, in a sense, make this affordable for those that wanted to do the math. So now I'm going to roll into the next few products. I'm going to put my hair back in my bonnet. Okay.